How's it going, YouTube? Today I got a new astronaut. These don't come out very often, but when they do, I try to pay attention. Got the Century 3.0. Yes, I labeled it. <laughs> when you got hundreds of knives and you keep the boxes, it's always nice to keep a label on them. You don't really get anything extra. You do get an extra set of springs. I'm not sure if they're stiffer or just a backup set, but it's like the packaging's changed a little bit since the last one, I do believe. Here we go. Got a black G10 crossbar lock. This blade, blade shape was really speaking to me. He had three different knives drop, and I could only pick one at the time. And this was definitely it. So it's $95. And they're sold out. They sold out in like 10 minutes. You gotta really pay attention to Asher. Um, join their email subscriber list on their website, and you gotta be there or be square. This is a Century 3.0. Apparently he's done several versions of this. It's only my second astronaut. I passed on one. And yeah. Don't always have the money when they drop, but I had $95, so I got this one. It's got 3.2 inch M390 blade, stonewashed. It's got the harpoon drop point shape. Got a nice place to rest your thumb. And you do have a flat ground for half the blade. But it's still pretty thin because it's got a 2.1 millimeter blade stock or 0 0.08 according to my calipers. They're not the best calipers, so don't quote me on that. An overall length of 7.4 inches, so a medium sized knife, but a good EDC size in my opinion. Let's compare it to some crossbar locks. Kaiser Escort. And the Kaiser Drop Bear, it's right in the middle of both of those. Hogue Decca. CJRB Echo. These are pretty close to the same length, give or take a hair. And two more. Max Ace Black Mare and my only other Asher, the Spiro. The Spiro is exactly the same and the Max Ace is right around the same length too. I'm pretty sure he designs, designs them in the size he likes them and the, his, his, yeah, the design is all all him. He's not making these for other people, even though he is. He's a uh, seems to like plain designs. It's not a lot of flashiness. That's okay. Four point two inch handle. Point four four inches wide. One point two one inches thick right here across in your pocket you have T6 hardware besides the pivot and it does only unscrew from the back side even though it looks like a, a Kaiser deal the Kaisers you can take either side off so you can adjust the springs and 
this one this spring is not adjustable but I feel like that's okay it's got it seems like the right amount of tension pretty close close to the hogue deco a little bit more a little bit stiffer knife weighs 2.8 ounces you got a reversible wire clip because I do believe the owner is a lefty don't quote me on that but I think he is black G10 which is unfortunate I'm not really a big G10 fan and definitely not a black fan but it is what it is I still like an awful lot you got two deployment options of course the crossbar lock or the thumb studs oh. you can reverse flick it you also if you if you're way down far on the knife you can reverse flick off the fuller but you really got to be at the very tip it's not very comfortable you do not have a lanyard hole but you have a backspacer and I'm sure if you wanted an aftermarket clip you could I'm not sure if the spider co or the giant mouse aftermarket uh, lynch clips will fit this but I'm sure somebody knows you have a decent sharpening chole. Could have been better. The plunge ends right before the edge, so you might have like one sharpening. If you lay back the edge, you'll definitely get past it and have a smile. Felt like it was pretty sharp. paper isn't the best side on it's sharper in some spots than the, the front of the blade is pretty sharp not so much in the back you're not going to find these at dealers anywhere if you ever want Asher off it's just from his website I'll try to link it down below and uh, while you're in the description um, follow me on Instagram I'll always put that in the description of all my videos this locks on this knife um, been nice if the crossbar lock was adjustable seems like more companies are starting to do that Kaiser Bostead yeah um, let's see what else we got here. I'm uh, kind, of, kind of missing the AK pivot, like they did on the Spiro. They put it on the blade instead. Even though it's really light, it is there. This is their only branding on the whole knife, so I'm not going to complain, but I'd rather it be on the pivot. Um, and my last complaint is it's just kind of plain Jane. The blade shape's really nice. I love that. I love the stone wash. But he, he either comes out with black G10 or gray G10. And yeah, that's kind of plain. I'd rather this been titanium. But if it didn't wasn't titanium, I'd have liked to see some Icarda or some at least G10 with some color. Or some jade so you could dye it at least, maybe. I don't know. But this is this will be a good work knife. You got M390, so it should have good edge retention and stainless capabilities. So yeah, this will definitely get used. So yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like and your thoughts on this knife and see you on the next one.